Man, teams live and die by third parties in Apex Legends. In this video, I got some tips to help you combat it. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel guys where I give you all the tips and tricks to help you improve your Apex Legends gameplay. Today we're going to be talking about how to combat third parties in Apex Legends. Third parties in Apex Legends have been the most annoying thing in the community. Teams live and die by it. I mean, it's so it's a double-edged sword like it's so satisfying to roll up on a team, you know, be the third party team, just kill everybody, take all the loot, but it sucks when you're fighting a team straight up and you win and then another team comes in and takes you out and takes all that sweet, sweet loot that you deserve. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I have a clip, guys. We're gonna break it down. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to improve or how to you know combat third parties. So let's get right into the clip. All right, guys, in this clip, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna kind of break this clip down. I'm gonna show you all the tips that we used in this clip to come out on top and how to combat a third party, okay? So essentially, I'm gonna give you what happens. We're gonna, we're gonna go down, we're gonna fight this team on this ping. We're gonna break everything down. I'm gonna break down all my clips that we do. So uh, we've, my teammates over here, we have we have a team in this building that we're gonna slide down and fight on this ping. My teammate monster is down over here to the right, so we're just a little bit split. My rando, this is a random teammate, he's up here and he's already pinged the team that's fighting in here. So we're gonna watch the clip just enough and then we're gonna kind of break everything down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Got an enemy out there. Yeah, on the roof, he's on the roof. Oh, they're inside. Those characters are likely to the dump. Is he still on the roof? Yeah. Guy inside has white armor, 15. All right, heal up, heal up, heal up, man. I can't get up there, dude. If you come to me, monster, and give us a jump pad, we can go up top. God, somebody fuck. Have a squad, bro. From where? We gotta go. Go to death right, guys. So at this point, we've been fighting this team. And in my opinion, we've taken, we took way too long to fight this team, but either way. So we're fighting this team, all right? And my teammate Monster calls out that we have another team that just shot him. So the first thing that we can do is to reposition. Now, let's break down the first tip. First tip is, is communication, the comms, right? So we're fighting. Fun, we're fighting, as you guys heard, we're fighting this team. He just got shot. Squad, bro. And he just got he just got shot and he just called out for another team. The first thing is comms. Okay, this is so important. I have a whole video on comms, which I'll link above, guys. But communication is key. Now, if you're solo queuing and you don't have comms to do this, still try to open up your mic and tell your teammates what's happening. So Monster calls out that he got shot. He called out that another team is coming. So our first thing after that, after comms, you need to reposition, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reposition. Where? We gotta go. Okay, I ask from where. He doesn't know, but I have to assume that it's over by somewhere where he's at. And then this is tip three. We're gonna, or really it should be tip two, is game sense. So I know the monster's way over here to my right, my other teammate's off to the left, and he got shot. So I know that he got shot from somewhere in this direction, somewhere over here. It could be somewhere up to the right by the other team. I don't think that it's behind us. Okay, most of the time with game sense, and this is the hardest one because everybody has so much tunnel vision when they come to FPS shooters, okay? Mainly because of Call of Duty, Battlefield. You know, you're playing on these maps where it's not a large map. You're going to one spot and you're fighting. So everybody has tunnel vision. Game sense is the hardest skill to master in battle royales, especially Apex. Okay. So, and this is just my guess, but my game sense tells me he got shot from somewhere over there by him. Okay. So he calls out. Come on. He got shot. We're going to rotate. Now, death has been over here to my left the entire time. Now, he doesn't have a mic, but he hasn't taken any damage, I noticed down here, really, except for from the team that we were fighting on the house. So I have to assume that he is pretty safe over here. So we're going to rotate to him. And this is another thing my game sense tells me. We came down from Overlook. All right, we came down from Overlook. So most of the time in Battle Royales, and I say most of the time, anywhere that you come from, most of the time you're going to be able to retreat to that same spot and not worry about getting shot or, or it's going to be safe to rotate there. Now, in some cases, you're going to be coming from an area and a team is just going to swoop up behind you. But in most cases, you're going to be able to return from where you just came from because it's a safe area, right? So I, I, I'm, 
I'm thinking that, okay, we're gonna rotate back and death we're gonna rotate can. left, rotate okay? Death if you can. Yeah, you're being Wait, shot what? from back here. So after I turn around, I notice and I hear the shots where he got shot from. So it's, I just ping so that way my teammate knows, hey, you're being shot from somewhere in this direction. So he knows to go away from that position. Okay, monster rotated down. He's over here in the tunnel and he's gonna come up through the rope by overlook where we just came from, the safe area, right? We just came from that area. Now, once we're over here, what we've done is, He's phoenixing. He's telling me he's healing. That's good. So that means I need to de delay, delay, delay. So I'm trying to get eyes at this point on the other team. Okay. So tip one is comms. You want to be able to tell, you know, hey, you just got shot. There's another team here. You want to hear the footsteps and you want to call it out. Two is game sense. Okay. Two is game sense. You want to try to analyze the entire situation. Look back. Look at the big picture. Okay. One team's in front of us. One team's behind us. We need to get out in tip three reposition that's what we did now we repositioned the first part of repositioning now we've repositioned we're going to try to get eyes on this other team okay because we still know that that first team that we were fighting should be in that house okay they're pushing across so they crossed over right they crossed over guys see i found him on my ping i see him crossing right over here. one crossed over across. I almost dropped oh, the Loba. Did you finish? Oh no, Loba went up. No. Loba went to the roof. So now that we've repositioned, right? Now that we've repositioned, we know where all the teams are, okay? And at this point, this is why this tip for repositioning is so vital when it comes to th third parties. As opposed to us being sandwiched in the middle of two teams, we've rotated out and now we have both teams in front of us. Huge, key, best case scenario best case scenario that we've rotated around okay Look so we rotate around now we both these teams are i'm gonna go oh. try to get eyes i feel like that this is a point we could push because the two teams are fighting i almost dropped the wraith i should have now my team is repositioned regroup always regroup after you reposition on your team okay you want to fight at full strength there's nothing worse than charging in like i just did there thank god i didn't get beamed and i get knocked down and i put my team in a bad position so i noticed that monster rotated over so my first thought is i'm gonna drop down i'm gonna reposition on my team and we'll go in at full strength i almost dropped wraith man so we rotate around there's right? a lot of teams here dude i say we rotate around so there's a lot of teams we're gonna rotate around okay and there's a big tip i'm gonna show you guys moving up a lot of teams here we, we rotate around rotate around okay so we found wraith she was fighting the two teams are fighting right here on the little truck in the house still wraith is just trying to get away so us rotating at full strength we catch her trying to get away okay and now she's mine i'm gonna take her yeah, down i see wraith i'm gonna try to fight i miss all my shots because i'm Purple the best armor, player wraith. on the planet knocked her we're at outside inside outside on the ground i take wraith down we're gonna loot up tip number what am i on four or five looting okay this is huge when it comes to third parties although we're not gonna get third party by her team right here but this is just a big tip there's so many times where you know you you finish a team fight you're starting to loot and another team comes in and kills you the biggest thing i can tell you is armor swap if you need it grab need ammo I grab I grab attachments because I'm a, I'm a relatively fast looter. Yeah, and I then I get out here. 60 stacks. To drop my stacks. teammates manual and I'm gone. You biggest tips when it comes to this guys is just armor swapping and grabbing ammo. Those are the two biggest things. If you're a faster looter like I was just grab more stuff. Otherwise, at least grab a fresh armor and grab ammo for the ammo you just used in a fight and then get out look around you're going to want to try to identify where everybody is use that game sense and then once it's okay you're going to have all the time in the world to loot okay so now the two teams are still fighting you guys hear it two teams are still fighting so we're going to push in now here's another huge tip look at the mini map we used to be over here the zones have been coming in we rotated all the way around and now we are in the best position possible. We have high ground. We've rotated around and put both teams in front of us. And we have the zone. Okay, the new zone is coming here. We're facing away from the, the, you know, the zone that deals damage. And both teams are in that way. So if they want to try to run away, most players 
run away at the direct line. They look up at the mini map, they see the direct line, and they try to run that way. Okay, so if that's the case, those teams are going to run right into us right into us and that's free kills okay it's called gatekeeping we're not necessarily gatekeeping because we're not sitting here waiting but essentially that's what we're doing we're in a position where if they try to run away we're going to see them and get these free kills so we move up they're in the zone i try to laser this guy there's still one on the roof he's inside dude just super hurt he's inside this truck man i push in Help me, help me, help me. Fighting help me, help me, help me, help me. Mirage. I beat the Mirage and then yeah, I get I'm shot in my back. Me. Right here, right here. Try to heal, monster. Bro, he's oh, right we're here. almost we're dead. Teammate. teammate comes in. Drops nice. the lifeline. Drops nice. the last guy. Boom, we win. Okay. Good job, dude. So now we became the third party team. You, All right, and we end up punch. coming out on top, yep. right? We loot yeah. and we're getting out. Yeah. He's on. Okay. So the biggest tips with this, guys, I'm gonna lower the volume right here so I can talk to you. Yeah, on the roof. He's on the roof. So tip number one, He's comms. On All right, you wanna be able to, hey, somebody shot me. There's another team here. If you hear footsteps, anything like that, you wanna call all that stuff out. It's so vital. If you're solo queuing, you know, turn your mic on, at least work on those comms, call those things out second okay after comms all right reposition or game sense game sense you want to try to identify hey this team's here another team's here we need to get away okay third tip reposition we're going to reposition using where we came from a safe spot i know that there's no teams there my team is over there safe reposition okay after reposition drop that game you know sense again analyze where everybody is put both teams in front of you okay Put both teams in front of you. Heal up, regroup, get to full strength, and then go into third party again. All right? Loot fast. Make sure you're looting really fast. That's tip five. Make sure you're looting fast if you need to loot. Armor swap, grab ammo, get out. Okay? Now, you don't always have to go re-engage. There's some cases where you just need to disengage. Go fight to, you know, live another day. Okay? You don't have to have your pride kick in and go, I'm not running away from this fight. I need to fight. No, there's some cases where you just need to get away. You can always come back for loot later. All right. You can always reposition, disengage, and then, you know, get towards the end game and get your kills that way. All right. You don't always have to finish every single fight that you're in. Now, once you reposition, come in if you want a third party, do it at full strength, team wipe those teams, enjoy the loot, that sweet, sweet loot. These are all the tips that I have for you guys when it comes to combating third parties. So, in this video, it's a really good one. Now, and I know in some cases that, you know, if you're in a building or something, the biggest thing I can give you is high ground. You know, reposition around. Make sure your game sense is at an all-time high. Loot fast. Okay, heal up, disengage, comms, all that good stuff, guys. All right, guys, I hope this video really did help you out. These are the tips that I use to help combat third parties, okay? I know it's tough. The game is so fast, and these teams, you know, they pounce super quick. But use these tips, practice them, you know, practice them every single time you get into a fight, even if there isn't another team that shows up. Just practice these tips in every single fight that you have. I hope this video really did help you out, guys. If it did, make sure to drop a like. That really does help me out. Also, let me know down in the comments, what kind of things do you do to help get away fight or take on third parties let me know i'm always interested to hear from you guys and see what you guys do in your gameplay if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button guys we're almost to a thousand subscribers please help me get there i would really really appreciate it thank you guys so much for tuning in and for me warlug as always guys stay gaming i'll catch you in the next one peace